Monday, August 23rd, 1943. Dear Kitty, continuation of the Secret Annex Daily Timetable. As the clock strikes half past eight in the morning, Margot and Mummy are jittery. Shh, Daddy, quiet. Otto, shh, Pam. It is half past eight. Come back here. You can't run any more water. Walk quietly. These are the various cries to Daddy in the bathroom. As the clock strikes half past eight, he has to be in the living room. Not a drop of water, no lavatory, no walking around, everything quiet. As long as none of the office staff are there, everything can be heard in the warehouse. The doors open stairs at 20 minutes past 8, and shortly thereafter are three taps on the floor. Anne's porridge. I climb upstairs and fetch my puppy dog plate. Down in my room again, everything goes at terrific speed. Do my hair, put away my noisy tin potty, bed in place, hush, the clock strikes. Upstairs, Mrs. Van Dan has changed her shoe and is shuffling about in bedroom slippers. Mr. Van Dan, too, is all quiet. Now we have a little bit of real family life. I want to read or work. Margo as well. Also, Daddy and Mommy. Daddy is sitting with Dickens in the dictionary, naturally, on the edge of sagging, squeaking bed, where there aren't any decent mattresses. Two bolsters on top of each other will also serve the purpose. Then he thinks, mustn't have them. Then I'll manage without them. Once he is reading, he doesn't look up or about him, laughs every now and then, takes awful trouble to get mummy interested in a little story, answer. I haven't got time now, looks disappointed for just a second, then reads on again. A little later, when he comes to something extra amusing, he tries it again. You must read this, mummy. Mummy sits on the apocalot bed, which is a Dutch type of bed, bed which folds against the wall to look like a bookcase with curtains hanging before it bed and she reads sews knits or works on whatever she feels like she suddenly thinks of something just says it quickly and do you know margot just jot down after a while peace returns once more margot closes her book with a clap daddy raises his eyebrows into a funny curve his reading wrinkle deepens again and he is lost in his book once more mommy begins to chatter with margot i become curious and listen too him is drawn into the discussion nine o'clock breakfast yours and that was from the Diary of Anne Frank. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. And, uh, or don't. I don't really care. I'd be reading this anyways. Just filming myself.